Now we're at Oscatoon. Oscatoon. Uh, has Zascosium and Erestrum on it. So this is where we're going to want to make our base uh, to get Zascosium and Erestrum. Alright, welcome back everybody to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great today, hanging hey, out. Who said that? Huh? Who said um, that? There's the somebody pumpkin. here. The pumpkin. the pumpkin. Was it these drones? Did these drones speak? Are these drones speaking to me? I don't think the drones are speaking. No, it's me. Hey, where are you? Ah! Oh, hey! Yeah. It, it, it's Ridley! It's me! Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I'm fine, man. Thanks for asking. So, uh... We, we just had some drones, but yeah. let's, let's go loot them. I'll repair the base. <laughs> yes, repair. So, I'm Always hanging out on the, the uh, Coalition of Gamers Empyreon server with uh, one of my new friends, Ridley. It was, hey! He, he was, uh... Habitating the uh, base that we upgraded last time, and uh, yeah, he figured I uh, figured you know we'd bring him along for some of our adventures. Yes, we we already had an adventure with space miner. Uh, our, our warp drive got shut out. <laughs> yeah, literally shut out. Yeah. Yeah, we I. Made uh, it. We I, always. I showed him back to Omicron, and then we went to the moon to try to find some things, and our warp drive got shot out, and. Yeah, I, w I wish I had been recording that because it was awesome fun, but uh... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But we're going to have a lot of fun today, too. I hope so. Alright, let's head back because today I'm going to set up a orbital uh, uh, satellite around Akua that has uh, advanced constructors and a uh, furnace for refining the... Uh, the minerals that we gather up. So uh, with this like satellite station, we can actually mine and then come back uh, into the station. So we actually use less fuel. Yeah. Because we don't enter the atmosphere. And then if we need to come back to the atmosphere, we can just uh, come down with the uh, trade station and we'll just teleport right over there, right within range of the base, which is awesome. And then we can just use our bikes and come right on up over here. <laughs> Or we could actually park one of the hover vessels there. If yeah, we, we could, actually need we, to. We could do that too. We could park the USS Spotnik there. But I don't know. I think some people use it to like go around the planet. Because I don't think a lot of people want to use my uh, advanced recon uh, vessel. Yeah. They're, I think they're scared to break it. So I've got the... Uh... The mining vessel set up. I did a little bit of modifications uh, so that we could fit the extra passenger seat for Ridley to hang out in. And what I'm planning yeah. on doing is putting a second drill turret on the uh, base or on the ship so that we can both drill at the same time and get uh, resources twice as fast. Yep. So here we are, heading into space. Uh, and uh, we're so if we're gonna mine an asteroid, we're actually uh, control the turret ourselves, don't we? Yeah, when you mine an asteroid, you gotta control the turret yourself. That's why I'm putting two on there for the two people. <laughs> yes, yeah. should be a lot of fun. So, when you're putting a satellite in orbit around the planet, it's important to get the solar panels facing the right direction. Because if you have the solar sun. panels facing away from the sun, you won't get any sun and it won't get any power. So if we look at, isn't that like this, uh, doesn't have to go south, doesn't the, the solar panels have to face south? So that works. Well, when you're in, you, you have in space, you want the solar panels facing the sun, regardless of where you are or anything else. So, uh, oh, really, just face the sun? Okay. 
So we have to find the sun. Yep, it's on the other side of the planet, it seems like, right now. Oh, that's, that's a pity. And I'm considering putting it about halfway between Akua and the moon, if I can get a good view of the sun. Because once I get the sun in the view, I can use... Yeah, there is it. Yeah. There it is. Ah, there it is, yeah. Okay. So, let's head over this direction and see if there's anything dangerous between Akua and the moon. I don't know. I think I, the only thing that might and dangerous and dangerous is maybe the asteroid. But I don't think they move. Well, the asteroids don't move. They're not going to be a problem. The problem is there are freighters that come by, and the freighters. I don't want to be in the path of a freighter because they actually have weapons on them. Like you see this right down here. That's actually a drone base capital vessel, I believe. Um, really? Yeah. I've never seen such thing. Is yep. it moving? Yeah. If I if I stop moving and you look at it, you'll see it's very actually. It might not be moving. I think that might just be that. Base. That might just be the actual drone base. No, but maybe it's the trade base. No, the trade base is off to our left and above us or below us. I don't remember exactly where because I can see the trade base on the map and that's off to our left at about I want to say 11 o'clock between 10 and 11 o'clock but I think I'm going to put the uh, satellite right about here and have it facing the sun as long as it faces the sun no problem I guess so I've still got my EVA suit on so I'm going to come on out here Oh and... yeah. You're, okay, now I now everything is kind of interesting because I've never seen someone do something like this before. Okay. Can I come out too? Does it should I be able to come out? Yeah, too? you should be able to come out. Oh no no no. No. I don't have any VA suit on. I think I do. Make sure to put I your helmet hot. on. Make sure to put your helmet on. I have my helmet's on. Okay, so now we're facing the sun. And there we are. So now we've got a station that's going to be solar powered. Uh, it's, O2. Okay. it's getting 100% solar power. It's got a uh, full, po the max possible solar power on it. But I do have a fuel tank and a generator just as backup. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of fuel in the fuel tank. And then uh, it's already turned on. And now... Is there a way we can enter this? Uh, no, it's all external. Uh -oh. But now we can actually... Uh, put stuff... Okay, access, uh... We can put stuff in the... Uh, in the constructors and actually build things right here in it's the area between under. space. Faction. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to it's change the private. faction. <sighs> yeah, you you'll get too hot if you get too close to uh, one of the th to the thrusters on the ship while they're active. Let me turn off the thrusters just in case. It's minus 130 degrees outside. Yeah, I know. It's really cold. <laughs> okay, so what I want to build right now is a drill turret. I need more Eristromans Zescosium, or do I need more... Let's see, for Zescosium alloy, I need... That's it, Aristomans Escosium. I need more Aristomans Escosium. Well. 
That's gonna be a problem. Let's see, how much more do I need? I need 10 Zescosium Alloy, and I can make... Six. Uh, so we're gonna have to find some Aristerman Zascosium before we can make this up. Uh, go ahead and uh, access the uh, the cargo box in the uh, in the ship. The uh, what you call it? The harvest cargo box. Yes. And grab all the ores that you possibly can. Harvest all the ores I can possibly can. Yep, grab all the ores that you can. But I can't access the, the constructor still can't. Oh yeah, I'll fix that. Actually, I'll just go ahead and grab these. You're already in there. Yep, okay. There's nothing in there. In the other cargo box then? No, I went ahead and grabbed them all. And, um, open, there. and Rob and Dex it. You want me to get uh, grab it out or just... Uh, yeah, go ahead and get the Rod Vintaxid and put it in. I made the uh, station public so anybody can use it. Actually, I might want to. I might just want to make it uh, our faction, but nobody should be stealing stuff that we put in here, so. Um, and throw or, it. Yeah, they, they might be able to use it, maybe use the fast construction. Throw it in the. Uh, really steal it, I don't think. In this constructor over here. That I'm at? The last one, okay. Yep. And start the uh, pentaxid making up in there. Uh. Uh, just all pentaxid? Yeah, just make it all up. All finished. Finish. Okay, now very good. Okay, we're going back to the ship, or uh, yeah, we will. First, I want to make sure that this thing is still gaining power while it's I uh, constructing and everything. It should be. I'm gonna turn this what constructor over here off. What happens if you disable your jetpack in space? You just keep floating that same direction. All right, so here's what we're gonna do then. Let's get into the space miner. Um. Uh, yeah, sorry. And I. Uh, You'll control the uh, drill turret once we get to a thing to drill. Yes. And uh, I'll control the ship, and it'll go a lot easier. Yep. Um. I'll uh, head on. Oh, you're controlling the control panel. Wait. Uh. I need. Can I grab my popcorn real quick? Yeah. Sure. My popcorn in the refrigerator. Yeah. Just grab some too and I'll eat it real quick. Now, when we're not actually mining, we're going to want to, uh, you're not going to want to be in the, uh, uh, in the drill turret because the drill turret uses a lot of power. Uh, if you access the control panel and see where it says mining over on the top right, I've keyed that to turn on and off the drill turret. If you look at our power consumption when the drill turret's on, we only have about two hours of fuel. And when you turn it off and look at the fuel, we've got like 16 hours. So yeah. we're going to want to leave the drill turret off while we're moving and doing stuff until we get to a uh, actual place to mine. Then you're going to want to activate the drill turret and get in it. Just conserve. Conserve. Yep. So I uh, go into the the drill turret by going to the devices, go to harvest, and then yep, 
access and active. And, and you'll see this over to our right is a it says carrier. That's a drone base. It's a drone base capital vessel. Our, I think we should one day just take it out out of the sky. Oh, we will. Oh yeah. But we need maybe we could do that with like small vessel. Like I don't know if you can have rocket launch on your vessels, but it would be amazing. Oh yeah, small vessels you can put rocket launchers on. It's really cool. Oh, the, the, then we're gonna blow up that man. All right. Oh, is the turret automatically aiming? The turret's aiming. Yeah, the, the turret's the automatically thing. aiming. You want me to uh, take control of the turret? No, no. Let's see. Has this iron asteroid regenerated yet? It appears maybe. Is it? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, it's regenerated. Uh, okay, so I head into the. Oh, you're already occupied. Yeah, so go into the uh, drill turret. Activate it. No? Uh, activate it, and then you see that uh, spot right ahead, directly ahead of us that looks like it's sort of striped. That's iron. That. Yeah. And if you just keep the drill, yeah, you, you see how it's gathering iron like that? Yes. So that's basically what we're going to be ending up doing uh, once we find we need a little bit more Aristerman's Ascosium. And where are we going to find that? I actually want to know. Um, Aristromens Ascosium, we are going to be looking at Oscatoon and Atis to find them. So we're gonna use our warp drive. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Okay, okay so it, let me see. I need to fuel up the uh the warp drive. Let's see. Alright. All right, you can stop mining now and turn off the turret. We're going to head back to the uh, satellite and grab some of the pentaxid from that. Yep. Which reminds <laughs> me, I need to... But wait, we have we have pentaxid in here. Yeah, I, I put pen, I put all the pentaxid we have into our... Uh, oh, it's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough to fill it up. Uh, let's see, Akua oh. Orbit, show private on... Oh, there, since I made it public, I just have to do this. Right click, waypoint, accept. Okay, now I can see the, uh... Whoa. Whoa. Or I should be able to see... I'm confused. Where is your... Uh, Our waypoint. Is, no, on the left it's the carrier. On the left it's the carrier. So you should be there's going more the way, left, more There's right. the waypoint. Yeah. I see. ARVSPS. Yeah, I can... I put it on mine so I can see it. Well, I, now I see the, the little hint that it's there. Yeah. But we have this, like, kind of carrier on the right of us. And I'm not willing that it kills us. I'm not willing to die. Yeah, we're That's out of its true. range right now. Yeah. But it got us. It hit us. Yeah. Well, we should be happy that it didn't hit our power warp drive. Oh, yeah. So otherwise, we, got, we have to build another one. Okay, yeah, uh, you can fly above here. We can just use our jetpack, can we? Yeah. Okay. I'm refueling, uh, getting some oxygen, and we're going out. Uh, if I can get that, I can't. And we've already got 360 refined pentaxid. <laughs> Wait, we didn't get it. Did we get her so much pentaxid? Oh yeah, because it makes I, uh, it makes I believe three pentaxid per raw pentaxid. It's really we got more than enough. Oh. Oh wait, yeah. maybe I should come into the vessel. Oh, you're. I'll head back into the vessel. I don't have anything to gather here. Yeah. So I can better preserve some oxygen if I can get in. 
Jay Collins. Well, I'm I'm fairly new to this stuff. I'm trying my best to fly in. Yeah, it, it, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, don't forget you can use Q and E to rotate yourself when you're uh, up there. So. So for me, it's A and E because I changed the. Yeah. I think. No, because I use Z, Q, S, D. Uh, yeah. To move around. But I have an SRT uh, keyword, so. Ah, okay. Makes no sense, but yeah. Okay, so we are going to head towards. The moon? Skillion. Where's that? I have never been there. First. Okay, I'm the first Akuin that's gonna go there. Thank you. So we are now in orbit around Skillion. There is Sathium asteroids and Neodymium and Cobalt. Uh, there's also copper and promethium, but I haven't found any of those. There is an admin station, though. That's yep. Every cool. planet, I believe, has an admin station. So we're gonna go to Atis. This is my first trip to Atis. I think I don't. I don't think I've been there in any of the previous seasons either. I've never been there. Atis is but a I've volcanic planet. Oh no, not again. Not a oh nice, anymore. it's got a rings. Yes, now let's see. Uh, we do not have anything but it's got Scythium, Neodymium, Promethium, Iron, Magnesium. Uh, we the don't have any... Eritrum. We don't have any orbital Zascosium or Eristrum. I don't know if there are any. So we're going to head on to Masperon over here and uh see if it's got orbital Zascosium and Aristrum. If it has anything, it'll be Zascosium. We but got two I planets don't, here. Yeah, we got Masperon's moon and Masperon. I don't but Masperon's see... moon looks exactly like Masperon. Uh, basically, yeah. Um, let's see. Wait, there's a wormhole here. Yeah, it goes straight to the trading outpost. So, Masperon's moon has a restroom on it. And Masperon as well also has a restroom, but there are no... Uh, there's nothing in orbit, so we might have to actually make a small base on Masperon and its moon. It's ultra... Yeah, Masperon, ultra. If you were, it's supposed to be an ultra difficult start if you were to start on it. Um, but there, it's not able to be started on right now. I, I can't. Man, I can't win. But I... I can't. I, I'm not even that good. And those are all aliens. Okay, so we can get... On that planet. We can get Eristrum from here on Masperon and Masperon's moon. Uh, let's see. I like the moon mode already. Yes, w I think the moon is a... Uh, the moon, the moon and Masperon, they're both almost identical, except for one's purple but, and one's green. So, yes, but the other one has uh, is a bit. Warm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up making a capital vessel to transport my mobile mining base to here, uh, so that we can I. Uh, use that as a uh, base to uh, mine Eristrum from. Wait, the master from moon does have as uh, meteorites with Eristrum on. Yeah, both Masteron and its moons and its moon do. So, oh. alright. Uh, let's go through the wormhole. My first wormhole travel. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a wormhole thing either. <laughs> Are we serious then? Uh, let's see. I gotta fill up the warp drive. All right. Why? It's a wormhole. Yeah, but it's still technically just warping to the trade outpost. It's just warping further than normal. And then from here. Wait, aren't there here any asteroids with? Uh, let's on. see, in the trade outpost where we are, it's just got Sathium and Pentaxid asteroids. Pentaxid. 
action. Okay. I've never been into the training station. I don't know how to get there. Now we're at Oscatoon. Oscatoon. Uh, has Zascosium and a restroom on it. So this is where we're going to want to make our base uh, to get Zascosium and a restroom. And, uh... Yes. Zascosium, is that a rare metal? Yeah, Zascosium and a restroom are both rare metals. And I need those metals. I need 13 of it for my, for my Hammerfett Corvette. Oh, rip me. Rip me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's cute. My uh, my capital vessel requires eight thousand eighty seven arrestrum and zascosium. That was me dropping something. Yeah, I I, I figured that. <laughs> no man. Oh oh no. It takes so much time. My so I. Uh, now the nice thing about plus the nice thing about Oscatoon is that it is I uh, it's I uh, got a breathable atmosphere and it's really nice on there. It's uh, friendly. Uh, ish. I mean, ish. it depends. Dude, the maximum temperature is fifty-five. The minimum is forty-eight. I'm never going to survive there. You know it. That's <laughs> Well, it's an oceanic planet, so... Oh, I, Now, uh... if I can find this trade station that's supposed to be around here somewhere... I'm trying to head straight for the trade station marker. There we go. I gotta tell you, actually, this I'm uh, gonna get uh, some food. Um, so we should be able to land near the trade station. In fact, if the trade station has a platform with a repair station on it, we should be able to land on it and repair. And then we can actually use the trade station to head down to Oscatoon and take a look at the terrain. Yeah, I don't know if we're. Because it's actually very warm. This planet has no moon. Right. It has a repair bay. So you have to land on the repair bay to uh, repair. Yes, you repair. have to repair. You have to land on the repair bay. But this. This should be good. Did we even take any damage? We're at 99%. Let me see if I can back up. Oh, no. Go ahead and uh, go out. This is actually amazing, man. I don't know if the repair bay would repair us. It's supposed to. For sale, wanted, recent, pending. There's nothing in the training station. Oh, well, no oxygen. That's maybe. That's not good. I go. No. All right, so the trading station should have a teleporter over here to get us down to Oscar yeah, I, I think it's down here. I think it's it, down here. It's right here. Is it not down here? No, oh. it's up here. Oh, where? Oh, right there. Yep. <gasps> okay, should we? Put, we don't need your helmets, right? Right. Right now, we do not need helmets. And I'm there. All right, and I just spawned in. Wait, how is this boss? I'm level 10. Oh, yeah. Yes. I can build my chemical vessel now. My hammer effect will crash. Ooh, what is that? Huh? Elemental space race mission. Nice. Yo, we need your pot racer here. <laughs> That's cool. 
Yo, but this is actually a kind of the Caribbean. Yeah, it's a uh, oceanic planet, so it's got you know oceanic stuff. Uh, connection to dedicated server loss. You serious? Rip. Yep, it looks like you got uh, kicked off. Yeah. But you should spawn back in right here on Oscatoon. I hope so. I'm reconnecting, so. Should not. Take uh, let's time. see if I have some SOVs that I uh, that we could use. Connection, connection timed out. You're gonna be kidding me, right? Uh, that's a bit. That's a bit pity. It's really a pity. If I can't, if I, if I can't join, I'm just gonna get some food. <laughs> it's, it's almost twelve o'clock. Yeah, it's almost six here. Yeah, we're we have a six-hour difference. So, for, waiting for approval. Wait, I. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think it, I, it, I bugged out. It, it always says waiting for approval. Yep, I no, see I it. think I bugged out. Uh, while this, I, yeah, I locked out in here. But I want to check everything without, man. I've never been in this place. Ooh, it's a I little dinosaur thing. I can buy a crew. Who humans? I can buy humans. Yeah. I killed Is that a little... acid rain? Uh, no, it's just regular rain. Oh. I killed a little dinosaur thing. A little two-legged dinosaur thing. There are dinosaurs here? Well, it says dinosaur. I mean, there's dinosaurs on Akua. <laughs> but this one's no, a little no two-legged, weird-looking thing. Did you loot it? Yeah, it had meat and an egg. I want... I want to... Is this a tree? I why? I keep losing connection to the dedicated server. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because maybe it's my AS team is downloading something. That could be it. No, it's not. It's done. But it could be because my phone's Wi-Fi is on. It's not. <sighs> I'm not liking this at all. Okay, this time. I don't know why it's not working. I'll just make sure and I'll lower. I I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Oh, you're behind me. So theoretically, I could spawn a mobile mining base on here if we had the the appropriate uh, iron, copper, and silicone. Here we can buy everything we want. Oh, a laser pistol, a minigun, so... heavy armor. What? What? Oh. Everything is expensive in here, man. I'm laying in. Oh, yeah. I just connected. Connection to the server just got lost for me, too. I'm going to try to connect and see if it stays connected. Because it only disconnected once I started trying to uh, drill a rock. I know, it's only uh, it's a 2G GB server, you know. I think. It's not. It's not really a, a, a strong server. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've got. I've always had good connection to it, but. Yeah, me too. So that's uh, a bit odd. But it, uh, even my game now uh, froze a bit, so I'm gonna restart my game. Uh, okay. Okay, my grandma is now very angry. <laughs> then not coming to eat. <laughs> So, uh, thank you that I get for space, so I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna mute myself, I'll be back, maybe. Okay, um... I'll, I'll myself. I'll go ahead and, uh, and pause right here.
and uh, if we can get okay, together yeah. again, you know, we can get back. If not, well, I'm I'll stay here, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. I'll just a five. It's just a few minutes. I eat. Okay. Lost. Yep. All right. ID check, please. ID check, please. <laughs> all right. Confirm all the cargo. Yes, all cargo is confirmed. Um. Okay, you are through. Come in. Come on. Hop on in the base. So we've got about 13 minutes until the mobile mining base is uh ready. Um. So, okay, I'm uh, I'm in. When? Oh, you're in front of me. All right. So we got about 13 minutes till the uh, mobile mining base is ready. And even once it is, I'm gonna have to modify a few things to make it for two people. Because right now it's only for one. Well, I'm gonna have to add an extra seat in there, which would be easy. Once I get a seat. <laughs> so we we gotta get. It's it up planet. Yep, I'm heading back down to the planet. Same, same, same. There is actually an iron deposit on this island, on this planet. Yeah, they've got iron. Let's see. They've got iron, zascosium, erestrum, promethium, and cobalt. The only source of silicone and copper is by destroying the uh, rocks with the rock removal. Okay. Where was that alien? There he is. Kill him! Kill him, brother! What the heck? Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. Why? Are there more aliens? Uh, yep, yep. More aliens. Oh, he's dead. He's a shit. Don't forget that you can, uh, take your helmet off on the planet. Oh, yes, I can. This is all loot. Alien insects. So those are the Talon Guardians. Yeah, don't kill the Talon Guardians. Is that your? Yeah, I just put it down. I always carry it with me when I'm going to uh, different oh, planets and the I like. I put my, I uh, took mine away. Rip. There's a scorpion right there. Scorpion? It's Where? A, a, oh, I see green. it. I see it. Is it aggressive? Uh, it's out of my range with my pistol. It says it's green. Yeah. It's green. Kill it or not? Yeah, go ahead. Aim for the top of its tail, that's its critical hit point. It's dead. Oh, raw meat and some alien seeds. Yep, I went ahead and cooked up the meat from those alien humanoid insect things. Oh. Well. So what are we are going, what are we going to try to find here? Well, this what we are here for is a Ristermans Ascosium. So I say let's take our bikes and uh, try to head around and see if we can find some, so that when the mining base gets built, we can actually mine. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Okay. Yeah. Up. I. The way the thing I killed is not aggressive, because I saw another one didn't attack me. So I, I killed it for nothing. I'm not like good at motorbiking. No, go away. Not okay, good. that's not good. You see that over you see that straight ahead hey. over there? 
Oh, that's a big drone. That's not a drone. That that's a planet vessel. A planetary patrol vessel. So it's hunting for us. Well, it'll be hunting for a base if we set up our base, um, like the one on Omicron is. Uh, fortunately, my base on Omicron is in a great position between mountains, so it doesn't seem to see it and go for it. But if we get too close, yes, it will start coming after us. Is it faster than us? Uh, it's faster than us on the bikes. If we were in a hover vessel, it would not be faster than our hover vessels. Should we go towards the village, or are you saying, uh, nah? Uh, yeah, let's go towards the village. Okay. You wanna go in the village, or just... Oh, my bloody on. I got stuck. I... Just drove into a tree. I'm not good at this game. I'm being chased totally by a spider. By spider? I thought those were not aggressive. No, by an actual spider, not just a little insect. Dude, I we're back in the medieval ages. Yeah, that's a uh, talent village. Oh, those guys are not aggressive, right? Right. Although there are a couple of aggressive things in the village, probably uh, crawlers. What? You didn't tell me that. Yep, crawlers right here. I don't see you. The crawler spawner is down, but the crawlers are still here. All right, crawlers are down. No. Alien parts. Yeah. What? Wait, behind wait, behind you. you! It's dead. It's dead. There must be another spawner somewhere. Yeah. Let's see if we can find that other spawner. Funny thing is, they look identical to the uh, to the spawners that spawn. Towers. Yeah, I, I think, think I. Got it. I am I'm parasite stage one. What's that? Uh, parasite stage one. If you don't get it. Removed, it'll become stage two, and then three, and then you'll you'll be in trouble. Uh, and how do I remove it? Uh, you have to use uh, antidote injections. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, I don't have any. Usually, I carry one antidote injection, but I don't seem to have one uh, on me. So, uh, how, how am I going to survive? Uh, we just gotta look for an antidote, and if we can't find one, we can make them up if we find the ingredients. All it requires, if I'm not mistaken, is a, uh, alien tooth and alien thorn. A thorn? I own... You should be able to find alien thorns underwater. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they look like. There's the Alien train station. Alright. Why, why did I uh, get the parasite? Uh, because you got hit by the uh, crawler. Uh, no. But I need energy pills. Because I can't move that quickly anymore. Well, that's because you lost your stamina due to the parasite. This little lake is really shadow. And the Maybe they'll start that, getting deeper over here. What happens here. if you accidentally shoot talents? They'll come attack you. Are they powerful? Uh, they hurt when they hit you. They have poison. No, no, no poison. 
All right, I found some alien thorn, I think. Where are you? Oh, you're in the water. Yeah. Yep, I got one alien thorn. There's another over here, just in case we need it. We... Alright, I'm coming up to the shore over here. Is a spider friendly or not? Spiders are not, but the alien cricket looking things are. Alright, I'm heading back to you. I don't know if you can make antidote injections in the, uh... Oh. Oh, we better, we can, we better can. I don't have survival with me. Yeah, I've got a survival constructor, but I don't know if we can make make the antidote injections there. Oh fuck! Um, I don't oh, see God. antidote injections, so. Oh. Spider hit me. You're venomous. But uh, well, I didn't get poisoned, but they can poison you. Let's see if we can make it back to the train station. Uh, ride your bike. That's the quickest way. I hope I, uh, how long does it take for Parasite Stage 2 to come up? It takes a bit. It takes a bit of time. And when does it become dangerous? Uh, when you hit Stage 2, you start taking damage. When you hit Stage 3, you uh, basically are really, really screwed. It's stage three. So stage two, it's capable for me to survive. If you have healing things like bandages and the like, yes. Why do, what do these talents do in the open? What do they do? Uh, they walk around. Right now, they don't really have a good AI yet. <laughs> so it could be possible those talents are going to bite up the monsters. Because maybe they're called talent guardians, you know? Yeah. Okay, we should hope. Now Please. we might be able to buy some medical equipment here. If we can find the Oki medical trader. No, he's up, he's up, he's up in the dinghy. I think he's up in the station. Oh, yeah. <sighs> fuck. Maybe in the cafe? Right here. Oh, hold on, while we're up here... Uh, right here, use this device. Which device? Uh, come upstairs. Or come up the elevator. Yes. Over here. Oh, use this thing. Yes, good, good idea. This, this right here. Oh, here's the medical supply, though. Yeah, but this, this, this right here that I'm standing on removes poison. This, oh, it's this one. Yeah, right here. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't help me. Uh, that's, oh, that's poisonous bite. Uh, you want to use, where is the parasite scanner? That's freezing. Really, the only one they don't have is the parasite removal. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to buy you an antidote injection. Bruh, why not? Here you go. I know my excavation site has it. Oh shit! What's up? Uh, uh, I I dropped something behind <sighs> something. Oh. But it's not good. I gotta grab it. Yeah, I'm I'm be back. Okay. Did you use the uh, antidote injection?
Okay, I'm back in Will. I didn't find it, but... So where are you right now? Um, I'm grabbing stuff to make another injection because I have I found the uh, constructor. The food constructor is up here. Okay. And I always carry purified water on me, and. You need a purified water to make the injection, so now I've got an injection on me as well. Just in case we take another bite. Yeah. Alright, so. We have the, uh... The, uh... Mobile mining base is ready to go. Um... So we're going to have to spawn it on a platform, but we should be able to spawn it on the platform of this base here. So you see me up here? Uh, I see this thing right here. Is that man? <laughs> Alien insect. I don't know if that's friendly or not, but I killed it. Yeah, a alien insects, the the non-humanoid looking ones are okay. Okay. Um, do you have... Uh, I think you're in my in the way. Oh, or I'm maybe sorry. not. Maybe it won't let me spawn it up here. Nope, it says, cannot build or drill near an enemy base. Apparently this is considered an enemy base. Oh yeah, you can build any. So we're gonna have to build a base platform to. Uh, Warning. Work. Yep, I see that. Server's gonna be shut down in 15 minutes. Uh, why? Well, they shut it down and restart it every day. Do you have some food left, maybe? Uh, there should be in the refrigerator up there, but yeah, I've got some steaks if you want them. Uh, in the refrigerator? I don't see a refrigerator, but I'll keep looking. Just showers, that's it. Showers, beds. Personal cargo boxes, which I can't enter. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's food in here. Thanks. I should carry more food with me. Wait, why can't can we use everything in here? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, well. Did you... What's this? Oh. Where is it? For me too. Yeah, I'm trying to get some crushed stone so that we can build some, uh, concrete, build a concrete base. I figured I might as well get Promethean while I'm at it. Oh, my suit can only hold 30 degrees and it's 32 right now. Oh, Did that spider, did you kill the spider? The one that's near me, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. 
in order to make a base starter, I need a core. In order to make a core, I need steel plates, electronics. Oh, boy. Can you shoot flying things out of the sky? Okay, yeah, we're going to need to get... Is it coming to attack us, I think? Resources. Oh, no. What, the birds? Wait. Yeah, can we shoot them out of the sky? I mean, you could... Well, actually, the birds are uh, not even real creature things. They're just, uh, like, decoration-type things. Environmental effects. You got how much crushed stone you need? Um, I think I've got all the crushed stone I need. What I need now is silicon, copper, and iron, which I just got a little bit of. I stopped working. No, don't leave me behind. Something coming right at him. Never mind. I want to kill it. Um. I don't know why it's not letting me make a core. I have a core. I have a core. Oh, you got a core? Okay. Yes, I have a core. Yeah, throw throw it in the uh, constructor then. Oh, here. I dropped it with this guy. Nice. Because you need a yeah, core to make a base. It's my, it's my first core. The one that you started with? Yes, yes I never used this. Never used this. <laughs> That's funny, but awesome. Yeah, if I didn't have it, we would be fucked. No. Okay, this is a tree. Alright, I want to put this. Out here. Stupid tree. I want to cut you. Right here. Uh, I am going to cut a tree. Is there still prom promethium in there? Uh, yeah, there should be some. I'm gonna take it. Thank you for meeting Jim Fawcett. But I can't see the outline of the the oars. Uh, do you have your scanner? No. <laughs> uh, I, uh, uh, because no. the ore scanners wouldn't let you see the outline. Uh, I might have dropped it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> uh, I think I did accidentally. Uh, rip. Uh, we yeah. can make you another one. Oh, we no, we could just. It, it could be in the ship. Actually, this. Be. Yeah, this deposit is still here. Okay, yeah. I'm uh, running to the ship. Okay. Maybe yeah, I, I dropped my ore scanner there. And if I didn't, yeah, it's probably in uh, the in the cargo box at the in Akua. Oh no, it's the okay. To the space miner. Space miner, open me up, man.
All right, we got a place to spawn the uh, the mobile mining base. Um, you want me to go I, ahead and I do think, it? I think I, think I, I know, know where um, uh, the ore scanner is. Um, yeah, it's it's in Aqua. That's all right. We got the mobile mining base now. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I'm coming. Maybe I should make some food. Now I'm here. Now I'm at it. I'm Why gonna, not you want food? me to go ahead and spawn this in or wait for you? Uh, I'm there in a... In one of my, just one meat has to be done. Thank you. Thank you, meat. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm exiting the thingy now, the our ship, and then I'm heading into the the space station, which I'm now in. Now I'm, I'm almost at the, the the teleporter. Okay, I'm teleporting, which is awesome. But it makes it really makes no sense that you can teleport. <laughs> well, if you have a teleporter. I made it. Yeah, sorry, I had to make some food. This, I like this planet. It's very beautiful, this planet. No? Yeah, it is. This is actually my favorite planet in the entire uh, thing. We got five minutes, Rip. Yep, I figure we'll spawn in the uh, thing, call that an episode, and then get back off with the five minute thing, and then get back on if we want to continue doing things. Okay. All right, so here we are. You're in the way. <laughs> uh, all right, mobile mining base spawned in. And now you need to tweak it. Does it fit two people? No, it no fit two people. Not yet, it doesn't. I just made up another seat to put in there. Oh, it's, it's the same thing, thing you have at the in dinghy. Oh yeah. Holy guacamole! You can put me on top if you want. Oh, this thing has a refrigerator? Yeah, this thing has everything you would need. Oh, well, great. <laughs> Wait, I am a passenger now. Yep. This thing has an armor locker. This thing has everything you need. It's got O2 in here. So if you wanted to uh, take your helmet off inside of it, you could. Not that we need helmets on anyway. Yeah, but it's better to have helmets that we can pull, put on. Wait, you... You have... Earned 1.7 million dollars on GTA with your... With the, the crew from Mahula. 1.7... What? 1.7 million in total. So, without spe without a cheese spend it. So, yeah, everything I've ever earned with the crew. Oh, everything I've ever earned, okay. Oh, no, no, right. not the total, but what you got in, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some things in here. Uh, I might want to hold on to those. Um, so we just got a couple of minutes, so... 
I think let's go ahead and end this episode here. Um, I hope everybody watching enjoyed the episode. It was a lot of fun recording and playing, and uh, we actually did a lot more than I expected, and it was a lot like a lot more interesting things. So uh, if you guys did enjoy it, hit the like button for us. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survivor with the Coalition of Gamers server, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know It All DM, and that's my friend Ridley out there, wherever he goes. <laughs> and as always, y'all have a good day now. <laughs>